Good evening. Hi. How are you, Claudia? Are you better now? I'm better. My voice is not normal yet, but I I feel a little bit better. You sound better. Mm -hmm. But uh, because of the coffee, cough, mm -hmm. uh, I lost the voice in the during the day. But now I feel like I can talk more normal. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good for you. So tomorrow I will be in, in my work in the air condition. <laughs> where, Claudia, where do you live? In Santa Tecla. Is it raining in Santa Tecla? No. Not yet. It's really hot. I was watching the news. I hear that it's raining very hard in Apopa. But I don't know if it's true. I hope it rains because it's really hot. <laughs> it is. It's hot. And where where do you live? Is raining now? No, listen to this. When you said where where do you live, it's a question. Uh -huh. So if you want to make um if you want to make the statement is where you live is it where raining? You live. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. No, it's not, but it, it, it seems like it's going to rain. It seems like it's going to rain. I hope it rains. Okay, so hello, Allison. Hi, Angela. Hi, Bert. Hi, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Hello. hello. Good evening. And hello, Denia. Claudia, Hi, is, teacher. Claudia Hiron, is that you in that picture? Maybe she's not there. Okay. So remember, I am. <laughs> um, so remember, yesterday we we're doing a simple past and present perfect. Correct? The simple past and the present perfect. So let's, let me see, let me share my screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes, it's right. Okay, do you see the lady, the lady from the videos? Yes, yes teacher, I see. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, let's listen to what she says. Hi, are you ready to use two tenses at once? Stay and learn how to use present perfect versus simple past. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. 
When is present perfect used? Present perfect is used when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference. It is also used for actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now, especially when for or since is used. When is simple past used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? Okay, today, um, so we're going to do for and since. For and since. Can you give me a sentence using for, Angela? Um, example then, then, then time? Yes, give me an example using four. Okay, I worked um, in Tomasa for 23 years ago, maybe? No, only oh. for 23 years. Excuse me, teacher? Ago, no, only for oh, okay, 23 okay. years. For, for 23 years. years. Yes. Okay, good, yes. good. Okay. Allison, Thank give you. me an example. Give me the example, Angela, but using sense. I'm sorry, you give me an example, Allison, using sense. Using sense. Uh, um, how teacher, how? No, no, uh, Allison, I'm sorry. It's to Allison. Me? Allison, Allison Lopez. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Excuse me. No, okay. I, yeah, in this moment, it's raining. I know, listen, very well. It's raining, okay, no problem. Yes, yes. So, Allison, give an example using sense. I don't think you have your microphone. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Um, I lived in San Juan Pico since twenty twenty one. Okay. Good. So, what do you think is the difference between four and sense? Uh, four is for to say uh, the period of time, and since is to say when the action that you are talking about starts. Start. Yes, okay, okay, uh -huh. good. When you uh -huh. say four, is the duration. duration. Yes. But... Okay, and when you say sense is when you started that action, but probably you haven't finished. Yes. So let me give an example. I lived, I lived with my mother for 20 years. Do you understand? I lived with my mother for 20 years. Now using sense is I have lived alone since I was 21. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Does everybody understand the difference between for and sense? Yes. Teacher, can yes. you explain again the difference please i don't understand okay um angelica are you married no <laughs> do you have a boyfriend no okay <laughs> uh imagine imagine you have a boyfriend 
Okay. <laughs> How okay. long have you been with your boyfriend? Give me an example. Uh, months, for three months. <laughs> okay, for three months. Yeah. Okay, so you, uh, you say I have had a boyfriend for three months. Oh, I, uh -huh. I have a boyfriend since marriage. Okay. Because, yeah, March, April, May, June, that's three months, right? Yeah. So if you say I have a boyfriend, I had a boyfriend for three months, three months, you're given the duration. And if you say I have had a boyfriend since March, is that you're saying when the action began? So it's the same, it's the same. The only difference is that if you say since, you have to say the beginning, you have to say a, a day, a, a day, a week, a year, or a time. It's more specific. Yes. Okay. Thank you, I understand. Yeah. Saben cuando, cuando es buena esta pregunta? Cuando quieren calcular el aguinaldo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's really important. <laughs> yeah, because hay gente que puede aquí estar en una empresa 11 meses y diga, ah, yo he trabajado ahí por un año, ya. Yeah. For one year. Pero, aguinaldo calendar, no. No, in that case, no. <laughs> ah, entonces uno bien feliz que le van a dar full aguinaldo y de repente, no, you haven't worked one year. You have worked here since, y empieza desde. Okay, okay. Yo Thank me you. En mi trabajo iban a dar, eh, daban full aguinaldo. Uy, qué triste, un amigo mío, al de par por un día. One day. No pudo dar su aguinaldo full. Le, le tocó el delay de 10 días. Ay, that's awful. Yes, uh, terrible. Okay, what, what is a go? A go is really past. That's it. It's past. Three days ago. One day ago. When did the Ten years ago. Ten years ago, yes. But you can't say today ago, no. Because a go is something past. Okay? Okay. All right. So Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. I see your screen. Thank you. Okay, let's see. The... So, a group of thieves. I cannot see it now. What do you see? The it class. appears and then disappears. <laughs> what about now? Now. Yes. So a group of thieves has stolen the dragon's eye ruby from the grand gallery. Last night, about 1 a.m., the alarm went off. Why is this wrong? Number three, the poli oh, well, police rushed to the building immediately, but they were too late. Right after learning the um, right after learning of the robbery, the mayor set up 
telephone hotline for information about theft. Here, let me see. Why is that wrong? I want to see this. Maybe a capital or a space. You must die went off, I guess, to add the word off. Okay. Okay, thank you. Three people have called so far, but the police are still looking for further information. They believe it is probable that all thieves have left the city. The curator of the garden gallery has offered $50,000 reward. Okay, let me do one thing. Do you see my chat? Where do you? Do you see the uh, chat? Chat the, 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 the class. The class, no teacher. Oh man, it's a direct message. In my case, no. I'm sorry. Thank you, Claudia. It was a. Why can't I? I can't change the direct message. Hold on. You know, Zoom is really not very user friendly. No me deja mandárselo a todos, only to Claudia. Really, Hold on, let me see. In the chat, the WhatsApp. Yeah. No, I got it, everyone. In Zoom, lo quiere mandar. Yeah, I got it. Does everyone see it now? Donde dice todos, bueno, donde dice Claudia o, o la persona que se le está mandando, solo clique ahí y le tendría que aparecer. So, oh, okay. there you go. Everyone, right? Yes. Thank you, thank you, Alison. Yo lo estaba haciendo en los tres puntitos. Que okay, decía sí, everyone. No. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. So, where do you, how long have you? Let me give you an example. Okay, lo dijo. Allison, where do you live? I live in San Juan Opico. How long have you lived there? I live here since 2021. Okay, good. I lived here since 2021. Where did you live before? Uh, I lived in Me Mexicanos for one year. Okay. So why did you change from Mexicanos to San Juan Pico? Because I've been living with 
my boyfriend uh, for three years and we oh, okay. first uh, rent for the, an apartment and then we get uh, a loan mm -hmm. uh, to buy a house here in San Juan Obico. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Interesting. So you live with, okay, that's why you went from San Salvador to San Juan Obico. But good, you bought a house. Yes, we did. <laughs> Very good. Good for you. Okay, so if you notice, I asked two questions. Where do you? Where do you and how long have you? Allison, can you ask a similar question to somebody in your class? Uh, but okay. not necessarily where do you live. You can say any other. Mm, let me see. Oh, you know what? Or simplement, um, simplement, <laughs> simplement, or simply you can say, do you? Okay. For example, do you smoke? Yes, imagine. Imagine somebody says yes. Oh, how long have you smoked? Uh, I don't know. Denia? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, do you... Do you? Do you? Do you... Do you drink alcohol? <laughs> No, I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, that's good. I mean, alcohol, drinking alcohol is very bad. Maybe drinking liquor is different. Mm -hmm. Liquor. Oh, <laughs> I, okay. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and um, have you ever drink uh, liquor? Have you ever drunk? Drunk liquor. No, I don't. Since never, I don't know if. So I no, can say I that. have <laughs> no, I have never drunk liquor. Okay, so no, I don't no, ever drink. No, listen, please. Sorry. No, I have never drunk liquor. Okay. No, I have never drunk liquor. Good. Es un perfecto ejemplo del perfecto, per, per, blah, del presente perfecto. Ella, di, ella dijo, no, nunca he bebido licor. ¿Por qué el pasado y presente? O sea, desde que ella tiene uso de la memoria, hasta hoy, nunca he bebido licor. But there's a probability that maybe in the future, maybe not. Yes, por eso ella no puede decir, I never drank liquor, nunca tomé. Okay. okay. Dania, can you ask somebody, please? Do you and have you? Okay, let me see. Ronald? Hi. Hi, Ronald. So, do you, let me think. Do you do you smoke? Study in the university? No, I have never studied to the university. In the university. No, but listen to the question. She didn't ask, have you ever studied? She says, do you ah, okay. study? No, I don't study. Okay, and How long um, How long okay. have you Okay, excuse me. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Denia, aquí está haciendo un grave error. Okay, y lo voy a decir okay. por qué. Por decir por qué, se lo voy a decir en español porque esto va para todos. Ahorita Denia, usted solo quiere complementar una uh, how long Eso, eso es muy malo yeah. porque le va a salir malo la pregunta. Porque si alguien dice, How long have you? Y empiezan a ver. No. Have, have like a conversation. Por ejemplo, like, Okay, uh, Ronald, do you study in the university? No, I don't study. Do you work? 
Generalmente sería la segunda pregunta, Gabriel. Porque gente joven o si no estudian, trabajan. Uh -huh. Si no estudian, no trabajan, como mejor ya no les pregunte. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, like, for example, listen, Ronald, do you study? No, I don't study. But do you work? Yes, I work. Where do you work? I work at Concentrix. How long have you worked in Concentrix? I have worked at Concentrix since 2019. Good. Claudia, ya supimos cuál fue el call center que nos dijo. ¿Se acuerda aquel día que no quería decir que lo obligaron a trabajar? <laughs> so it was Concentrix. Who, me? No, no, I was complaining because of a $1 bonus. Oh, yeah, the $1 bonus. But I don't mind working on holidays. I, I like it, but it's yeah, disrespectful, the, the $1 bonus. It's not disrespectful working on those days. Yes, it's true. All right, good. But do you see, Denia? I, I had a conversation with yeah. two tenses only. Do you, do you? Have you? Okay. Ronald, ask somebody, please. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. También que tenga coherencia la secuencia de las preguntas. Because imagine this. Imagine. Ronald, do you study? No, I don't. Do I don't work? study. Okay. Do you work? Yes, I work. How long have you watched soccer? Like what? Mm. No, no, no. But you, you see how, okay, do you study? Yeah. Do you work? The sequence and then suddenly, how long have you liked watched soccer? It's like, that's incoherently, you know? So make, make the questions that have a frequency, you know? Okay. So Ronald, ask somebody, please. Okay, let me see. Who was asked before? Okay, ask somebody. Uh, yeah, except Allison and except Denia. Okay. Uh, okay, let me see. Hi, Claudia. Which one? <laughs> Which Claudia? Ah, there's two. Ah, Claudia Hirón, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, uh, I got the idea, but I'm not sure how to how to ask for that. What is that? That sounds like a scary that. movie. <laughs> it's raining. Oh. Yes. Okay. okay my on. question is: Do you use glasses? Can you repeat again, please? Okay. My question was, do you use glasses the whole day? Lo siento, pero yo oigo una niña ah, respirando. Yes. Glasses. <laughs> yeah, the whole day. It's raining. That's so scary. <laughs> You're scaring me. They are permanent. Okay, okay. And have you used your glasses? to watch any movie at the cinema? Um, I remember that one time I went and they were for 3, 3D and I had to use mine Both. and later I put the another one. Okay. <laughs> and can I ask when did you start using the glasses? Last year, is that okay? Oh, oh. Is that okay? Teacher, is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? okay. Thank you. I am sorry. No, I can't. I, I can't hear anything. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> okay. I think we, if we. Yeah. I think Claudia, she can't speak in this moment because she is possess, she's possessed. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Let me ask somebody else. Okay, yeah. Okay, Claudia, it's okay. We understand it's raining. Pero se oye bien feo, se oye. Yeah. Like a scary movie. Yeah, it's so. like. Angela. Hi, Angela. Hi. Hi. Um, hello. Hi. I remember you were a teacher, right? 
repeat, please? Can you repeat? Yes. I remember you told us you were a teacher. Is that correct? A teacher. Teacher. I I don't know anything because it's raining. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> yes. either. I mean, I don't mm. say you're saying teacher or teacher. Teacher. No, teacher. teacher, like the one who teach. Teacher. Oh, okay, teacher. But 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 imagine Bert. Imagine Ronald. Okay, so imagine if you did not understand if it was teacher or teacher. Listen to the question, because Ron, Ronald said, "I remember you said you were a teacher." Ah, Ooh. you were a teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah. Okay, go ahead, please. I'm sorry, Ron, I'll continue. <laughs> okay. So, Angela, just to make sure, are you a teacher? Uh, can you repeat, please? Is, uh, no, I don't know anything. Okay. I was asking if you were a teacher. Well, if you teach to other people. I'm confused. Uh, if you were a teacher or if you were a teacher, I mean, it's confusing. I don't know, understand. Excuse me. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, uh, okay. Bert doesn't understand. Angela doesn't understand. I understand. Somebody else doesn't understand. Mi pregunta es si ella es maestra, eso es todo. Uh -huh. uh, are you a teacher? Teacher. Yeah. Are you a teacher? No. Hey, Ronald, does he chucho? But you use if were. <laughs> I'm, I'm chewing gum. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, pero yo entendí, Ronald, que tú decías, yo recuerdo que usted dijo que usted era. Maestra. Profesora, that you were mm -hmm. yes, a teacher. That's what I understood. Yes, that was my question. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to confirm she is still teaches nowadays. So I could ask about that topic. Okay. But I'm not sure if she still teaches. Okay, good. Ask her. No, I don't know. You're a teacher. You're not a teacher. No. Okay. And may I ask, what do you do for a living? Excuse me? May I ask, what do you do for a living? For dinner. For living. Ah, for living. Voy a decirlo en español, pero si casi no, no le escucho. <laughs> eh, I live for... Um, Sixty years in I'm sorry, no, my question was like, what do you, what do you do for a living? I mean, if you're not a teacher, are you a astronaut or do you play soccer for a living? Or what is the action you perform every single day for a living, for getting money and and support your family or support yourself? What what do you do for a living? Because for a living, I work at a, at a call center at this moment, in my case, and I'm planning to study another language. That's what I do for a living. But uh, my question is, what do you do for a living? Uh, what do you do for, for a living? What is your profession? Uh, um, I, 
I work, uh, I work in the uh, in my in, in my company for uh, 12 years. I'm sorry, I couldn't listen due to the echo. Could you repeat that again? I worked with coaches uh, for 12 years okay. in the company. And what is your role there in the company? Ronald, was that your question? Mm, no, my question was like, what does what does she do for a living? But yes, I understand. I need to identify what is her role so I could ask her about it. Okay. I, I, no, because I, no, definitely, I understand. I understand. Believe me. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> but okay. But go ahead. Go ahead. Tiempo. Angela, vuelvo le repito. Escuche bien la pregunta. Lo que le está preguntando, no lo que usted. Yo creo que usted, creo, por lo, mi experiencia, creo que usted, si logra entender una palabra, ya asume la pregunta. ¿Ya? Yes. Y no sé si oye bien o no, pero no sé si usted tiene audífonos. No. Ok. Uh -huh. De, ah, le, recomiendo, no le recomiendo usar audífonos, o los chiquitos, lo que sea. Ajá. Él simplemente le está preguntando qué hace. What do you do? Okay. No, excuse sí. me, excuse me, Angela, pero usted le, le, le respondió que vivía en Versalles, no sé, que ha trabajado tantos años, y entiendo, entonces sí agarraba la idea de la pregunta, pero si no la entiende, simplemente diga, excuse me, repeat. Yes? Sí. En este caso le estoy escuchando más a usted que a él, casi no le escucho a él, yo no le estoy escuchando muy bien, a usted le escucho mucho mejor. Really? O sea, okay. que, en serio, a él le escucho yeah, como, no true. sé, le, yo, yo, ¿verdad? No sé si es, pero a él le escucho como, como bien así, bien lejos. Y en el caso de usted, le escucho más, okay. más cercano, a pesar que no tengo audífonos. Ok, no problem. Eso yo, me acerca un poco más a mi computador. Ok, ok. Yo, yo, mm -hmm. yo, yo de, mi, de mi lado sí lo escuchaba bien. ¿Alguien más lo, oye, lo escucha mal? ¿A Bert? Porque, no, no, no. Porque no tengo audífonos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like Angela. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's the connection. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry, I am the problem. No. no well, you know, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm Ronald, sorry. I, I hear you perfectly. Uh -huh. So maybe it's. I'm maybe, not sure I hear them perfectly too. Yeah. But maybe it's the connections. So, ah, uh, but it Angela. It's raining in your house, no? Yes, yes, it's raining in my house. So maybe maybe that has an effect. Okay, so Ronald, ask somebody else, please. I'm, I'm sorry, Ronald, I'm sorry. No worries, who could okay. hear me perfectly? Okay, or okay. Even... Oh, wait, wait, let me <laughs> see. Dennis, Angelica Lasso, or Claudia Guerrero, can you hear Ronald good? Yes. Okay, okay. Ask, ask Angelica then. Angelica. Okay. Hello. Hi. The same question. May I know what do you do for a living? Mm, you refer to work or or what? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, I mean the question is like what do you do for a I living? Would like I would like I would like to know what is your profession or if you're studying something. Uh, my profession is a uh, graphic designer. I work in a textile factory. And do you study? Yes, I study uh, English in the night, and for weekends I study as uh, a course of surface design. Mm, okay. 
is that course online or? It's or online. Just... Okay, so have you gone like to any building or or place to study in, in person? Uh, Some days. I study. I mean, I know you study online, but my question is if you have gone to the place where that company is located. I don't I don't understand the question. If I if I go to the place where the course is is I don't know. Can you explain it? Okay, no worries. May I know what was the name of the place which teaches you graphic designer? Um, uh, no, uh, it's not the place, but it's with a professor of the University, Jose Matias Delgado. His name is Oscar Velasquez. Ah, okay, but it's not like a university course. Uh, no, it's a uh, independent course. I don't know how to say it, but... Okay. And have he, you... he studied the university and other studies, but it's not from a university in that mm -hmm. case, in that way. I got it. And have you gone to the university to study that career? Yes, I have. I studied graphic designer at uh, Don Bosco University. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, creo yo. Good. Ronald, yeah. listen, <laughs> Ronald, listen to this. Listen to this. Okay. Hi, Angelica. Hi. What do you do? Uh, right now? Or <laughs> what do you do? Do you work? Do you study? Yes, I work and I study. Oh, great. Where do you work? I work in a textile factory. In Soyapango. And where do you study? I study English at night and for weekends I study a course of surface design. Oh, you study online. design on the online. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Is it in the university or no? It's online for a independent designer. I don't know how to say it, but okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. You see, Ronald, the same conversation. The only difference, Ronald, is that I made it more simple. Yes. <laughs> so you know what I recommend to you? Ponerle un carácter a tus preguntas. Porque me, me, me volvió a parecer la misma Angélica que te hizo a ti. Entonces, Hi, Angélica, what do you do? Que Angélica, cuando alguien le pregunta eso, es literalmente que hace. Like, oh, I work. But it's okay, good. Pero ella me dijo. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's good, it's good. But it's okay. Pero me, me gustó que haya dicho eso porque yo como yo le hice mi, mi pregunta de contragolpe, que se puede decir. Because I ask you, Angélica, what do you do? She says, what do you mean? Y aquí voy, Ronald. Tú decías mucho. What I want to know is that what you, you do for a living, how you earn your money, but you gave a very complicated question, um, but it was good. I was I, trying to be specific. Yeah, yeah, no, but I understand, I understand. But in this situation, keep it simple because when Angelica asked me, she said, what do you mean? My question was, do you work or do you study? And she immediately said, I work and I study. Oh, okay, good. And then the conversation. I, I didn't mean to be, to be rude. No, no, That's no. That's why I didn't say that. No, no, it's good. Remember that what, what you want to do is, remember, a pesar de solo aprender a hablar inglés, también aprendan a, a controlar una conversation. Yes? Entonces, ya eh, si sienten que se está complicando un poco la cosa, mantengan las preguntas más cortas y simples. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, voy a repito. Angelica, dígame otra vez, what do you mean? So listen to this. Angelica, <laughs> uh, hi. Um, hi. Angelica, listen to my tone, hasta mi tono. Angelica, what do you do? What do you mean? 
Oh, okay. Um, do you work or do you study? Uh, I study and I am wo I work. <laughs> oh, okay, good. You see, it's very different if I say, Angelica, what do you do? Do you work or do you study? If it sounds very robotic, so remember, style. De desarrollo en su estilo también para hablar. Yes? Teacher, I have complications with that. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> how to do what? Um, the follow the flow of the conversation. Um, yeah, you, well, in this case, you have to analyze the person you're speaking with. For example, ask me. Now you, you ask me, Angelica. Uh, have you ever eat ramen? Excuse me? Have you ever eat ramen? If I have ever eaten ramen, what is ramen? Like a soup. <laughs> oh yes, I like soup. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's with the it, the verb is it's not good, right? I use it is eaten. Eaten. Mm -hmm. eaten. Okay, eaten. so have so you repeat. ever eaten? Okay, have repeat. you ever eaten ramen? What is ramen? Ramen is a Japanese dish of. I don't know sushi? how you say caldo. Okay. It's a soup. Soup oh. of Japanese mm. soup. No, I have yes. never I have never eaten Japanese soup. I recommend it. It's nasty. Too. It's very delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pero Angelica, vaya, aquí usted me hizo una pregunta. Yo no sé cómo seguir el flow. Creo que todo el mundo mm. en Salvador ha comido ramen, pero quizás no lo saben. Entonces, listen to this. Responda lo mismo que yo le respondí a usted. Angelica, have you ever eaten ramen? Have you ever eaten ramen? No, no, no. I am asking you now. Hoy, hoy ah. soy, diga la respuesta que yo le di. Angelica, okay. ha, have you ever eaten ramen? What is ramen? Ramen is a soup, a Japanese soup. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, no, say no. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, now listen to this. Listen to this. Y dígame no igual. Ram, uh, Angelica, have you ever eaten ramen? No. What is ramen? What is ramen? Um, okay, have you ever eaten maruchan soups? Yes. <laughs> okay, maruchan. Yes, is I the, have. <laughs> okay, maruchan are called ramen soups. Uh, okay. But there are some restaurants that they serve the, the good quality ramen soups. Oh, okay. Y boom, and then the conversation continues. Use cosas que relacionen a la... With the context. Exactly, yes. Ah, okay. Porque cuando okay. yo le dije, what is ramen? Como le vuelvo y le repito. Todo mundo en El Salvador... Especialmente los más pobres hemos comido maruchan. Ok. <laughs> y quizá no, y, y quizá no maruchan sabemos. Maruchan de camarón. Exactly. Porque son más baratas. Y quizás no sabemos y eso es ramen. But maruchan is not ramen. Uh, are noodles. They're different. But in that's Latin the word. America, noodles. Called, noodles. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Well. No, but the idea, <laughs> well, from what I understand, ramen is a noodle soup. Yeah, be, but in in Japan, it's uh, almost a, a, an art to prepare ramen. Of course, of course, but that's Japan. Mm -hmm. But that's like, that's like eating pupusas and, o sea, como le explico? It's like oh. eating pasta, the same as macaroni and all yeah, the it, variety. Cool. Eating Taco Bell. Taco Bell is not tacos. So it's not Mexican food, but it's just the idea. It is Texan food. <laughs> okay. But do you understand what I'm trying? <laughs> Man, you're making it very complicated, really. 
what I'm saying is you always find some, <laughs> yes. something, to, something to relate. O sea, I understand Maruchan is not the real ramen. I understand Iwala, una sopa de magi de pollo, no es a real chicken soup. Aunque diga chicken. Eh, dice magi de pollo, sopa de res, sopa de tortilla. I understand it's not real. But it's just the context, you know. You understand? So yes, I do understand that Maruchan is not like the original, but it's it's a uh, it's the idea. Oh, okay, Bert, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Bert, do you drink liquor, beer? No, I don't drink any kind of liquor. Do you smoke? I don't smoke. Do you drink coffee? Yeah, oh, I oh. love coffee. <laughs> okay, good. How many cups of coffee do you drink? A Twice day. a day. Twice a day. Twice kind... a day. Okay. What kind of coffee do you drink? I mean, the regular. I mean, the, the, the instant coffee. Uh, Ghost Cafe or Cafe Listo, but... Uh, from time to time, I drink uh, Juan Valdez or uh, Starbucks. I mean Starbucks <laughs> coffee. I bu I buy in the supermarket, but this is not that frequently. But just instant coffee. Okay, me too. I I, I love coffee. I am a I am a coffee aficionado, but um, but I don't know why I don't like instant coffee. I mean, yes, I drink it, but really, even if it's Juan Valdez, even if it's Folgers instant, I don't like it because it's not the same, like co coffee, coffee. It's like uh, acid. Some acid. Yes, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> I mean, I do drink it if there's no option. <laughs> but like in my house, I, I prefer the cafetera coffee, <laughs> you know. Um, like I drank for a, a day, but um, but have you ever drunk, Bert? Have you ever drunk cafe con piquete in a Mexican restaurant? Not never. Okay, can you answer complete? No, I have never. No, I had never drunk like that, coffee like that. Okay, good. Do you know what is cafe con piquete? Yes, it's kind of a liqueur into the coffee and you mix it. Yeah, normally... That, my mom be... said that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Actually, my mom told me that cafe yes. con piquete, but... Yes, I'm normally it's like coffee it. with tequila or any liquor. You're in uh, I, I don't think I will try anytime because I don't think liquor is good because now I'm 45 years old and it's not. I'm getting old and I don't think it's a good option for me. <laughs> yes, it's true. That's true. Okay, good. So, Aisa, do you, do you, have you? Okay, Claudia. Claudia Guerrero. Oh, yeah, Claudia Guerrero. Hi. <laughs> Claudia Guerrero, hi. hi. You live in Santa you live in Santa Tecla, correct? That's correct. Have you ever gone to a Paseo de Carmen? Yes. I I go I go to Paseo del Carmen once a month. No, no, but I, my question is not how often do you go? I said, have you ever gone to Paseo del Carmen? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. have you ever gone to a Sombrero Azul in Paseo del Carmen? No, I, I, I haven't. Okay, no, I haven't gone. Okay, good. Gone. Claudia Giron, can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> What happened to the little girl? She disappeared. 
It's an old photo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now listen to this. We will keep it simple. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I like. Have you ever eaten pineapple pupusas? No, I haven't eaten pineapple pupusas. They're very good. Do you like Hawaiian pizza? Mm, no. I like pineapple, but I know I don't like pineapple pizza. Oh, okay. Because if you like pineapple pizza, you will love oh. pineapple pupusas. They're very good. All right, good. You see that was simple right there? <laughs> Let me see. Dalila, are you there? Yes, sir. Hi, Dalila. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Where do you live, Dalila? Um, Alta Vista. Oh, yeah. Have you ever gone to Willie's? <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I haven't ever. What is the name of that, of that fame? I oh, know Gold Street. Eh, but have you ever gone to Gold Street Bar? No, I haven't ever gone to the Gold Street Bar. Oh, okay. Good. I remember there was a story. My mom, my mother, she had a, my mother, she had a house in Suchitoto. And um, I don't know, like three blocks from my mother's house, there was a car shop. Do you know what is a car shop? Taller, car shop. So one day the mechanics, they decided to go and drink to Gold Street. Five mechanics, the los ayudantes, five. Cada uno se llevó un carro del taller. And they went to Gold Street. They started drinking. Y hacer carreras. The five crash. And. Can you imagine, imagine the, the, the mechanic, hey, I'm sorry, your car is destroyed. Okay, so Dalila, have you ever gone to Gold Street? No, I haven't never gone to the Gold Street. Okay, good. Dennis, are you there? Yep. What's up, then? Hey, what's up, teacher? Where do you live, Dennis? San Martin City. Oh, yeah, you live in San Martin. Have you ever gone? Wait, wait, what is something? Don't tell me. What is something famous in San Martin? Actually, the <sighs> one, the two that you mentioned, the wheelies that doesn't exist anymore in the Gold, in the gold Street, because that's the name, the Gold Street or La Carretera de Oro. That uh -huh. one doesn't exist. Uh, oh, really? They don't? No, it doesn't exist anymore. It is like 10 years ago. It doesn't exist. Yeah, it was a long time but ago. The, but the one that is still exists is the Gold Street. And after that, there is another place that is named Plaza Container. Uh, and another, another other, other places that... Plaza Container. Are, <laughs> yeah, there is another one. Actually, have you ever... Have you, have you ever been in La Veinte, which is Boulevard del Hipódromo? La Veinte is a famous bar. I have. I have been to La Veinte, but not, not there. Um, by my house, there's one. Uh, okay. And uh, there, there, is, there is another bar. Uh, I don't know. Sucursal. I, I don't know how to say, but there is another La Veinte in Plaza Container, actually, in, 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 in La Carretera de Oro. Really? That's the name Plaza Container? Yeah, actually it's very curious because it is made uh, from containers, from oh. the trucks or the one that that used to the ships, you know. Yes, the, the containers. The, oh, they interesting. They are coming from China and stuff like, or places like that. Yeah. Hey, that's when interesting. Import, so, yeah, that's why that's the, that's why the name Plaza. I, I have never been to 
That's a container, but that's interesting. So listen, you're from San Martin. Have you ever gone to Peru La Pia? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been, I have gone to Peru La Pia several times. Okay, good. All right. And da, 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 dun, dun. I think who who else had Denia, are you there? Hi. Hi Denia. Where Denia, where do you live? In Sacamil. Oh yeah. Have you ever gone to Supon Sacamil? Yes. I haven't. Yes, I haven't. I uh sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yes, I I Yes, I have. I don't know. Yes, I have, sorry. No, it's okay, good. Ronald, you said you work in concentrics, correct? Yes. Is that by El Salvador del Mundo? Yeah, yes, it is. Have you ever eaten tortas al chowi? Yes, but when I start, yes, I have eaten tortas al chowi, but when I started working there, uh, that place didn't exist. It was a different place and they preferred pizza. Yeah, I, I, yes, it was pizza, but now it's tortas al chowi, right? Now it's tortas al chowi, yes. Do you know? I have gone to the to the other one. It's it's under a under a how can I explain it? It's close to the after the Puma gas station. Do you know that one? By San Jacinto. I, I'm not sure. Trovador. What is the 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 city about? Because I don't go out too much, but it is after a Puma gas station. Yes, it's and, in, a, in a corner, in the street. Yes, in the corner. That yes, was in, that was the original it, Choris, uh, Choi. Yes, is that San Jacinto? Yes. Ah, okay, but, well, but, I have but, gone there too. <laughs> you know the story? The story is that a Choi. Todo bolo, todo buen bolo. That's a 15, 20 años, so I can't show you because he only opened, he always opened maybe at 10 at night. He opened at 10 at night and closed maybe at six in the morning. So El Chobi was very famous because when people get drunk, they used to go very drunk to him to eat at Bajon. But it was very dirty. Maybe not a Choi, but the place. I mean, there's a video of many rats passing. <laughs> but El Choi, he's famous. Though. Have you ever eaten Chori's hot dogs? Who, me? Yes. I have once, and it was the last time because I didn't like them. Really? You didn't like the Choi? Bert, do you, have, like them. do you have Choris in San Miguel? Yeah, we do. The, we do the, have the, stories. Yeah. The, the originals. I think so. It's the, it's the original. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the chorizos are good. I worked in Dell many, 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 many years ago, and I remember I ate chorizos maybe every day. So now ugh, I don't like chorizos chorizos no more because they're very good. Yes, but now. I have one friend, he eats How eight. many you used to eat? Three. With three, I was full. Three per day? Or just for lunch? No, just for lunch. <laughs> ah, okay. I thought one just for breakfast, the other one for lunch. Oh, no, no. Other... <laughs> I had a friend, I, a friend, he ate eight. Un solo, eight. Ugh. What about you, Claudia? Do you have you ever eaten Claudia Hiron? Have you ever eaten chorizo? Yes, and I usually bought uh, there on the the place that you are mentioning. But I rather I rather eat because I ever bring my food, my lunch. Okay, good. Yes. 
Good. All right, good. ¿Vieron cómo se puede hacer una conversación solo usando do you, have you? Do you, have you? Do you, have you? It's just the sequence. The sequence is very important. Por eso le preguntaba todo, para que si alguien vaya, por ejemplo, Denia me dijo, oh, where do you live? In Sacamil. Oh, so I will ask a question related to Sacamil. Have you ever eaten in Sopon Sacamil? Oh, yes, I have. Where do you live? In Mexicanos. Have you ever eaten in El Conchodromo? In class, have you ever eaten in Conchodromo Mexicanos? It's good. No, no I, I haven't. haven't. Have you ever eaten yuca from Isalco? Yeah. It's good, huh, Angela. Que la dan en una hoja de. De huerta. Parece puré de papa. So good. Okay. Okay, class. Thank you very much. We'll continue more of this tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Have, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.